Welcome back, trainers, to the Cutlass Board Games channel. Uh, we are currently in the middle of the Cutlass Draft League, and I am recording this video in preparation of the Week 2 matches. I won my first game against Jada Bell. You can see a little preview of the team that I brought uh, for Round 1 there. But now I have a different opponent um, who has lots of Ghost-type Pokemon. I'm playing against Terra Stormer, um, our resident Ghost-type gym leader. And I need to build a new team to hopefully keep this, uh, turn this victory into a win streak, <laughs> if I can. Um, now, let's go new team. So we're building in uh, VGC Reg F. Um, but we bring all six Pokemon. We don't choose four at the start of the match. Now, um, Terra Stormer's team is Decidueye, Zoroark, Skeledurge, Arcaludon, Golurk, Maustic, Poltegeist, Lilligant, Overquill, Chinchino. So there's a lot of ghost type Pokemon. There's also Prankster in Maustic. There's also um, Intimidate in the Overquill. Um, and then Arcaludon, which is horrifying um, to have to play against. Um, and I have some options here. I do have some options here. First, I want to kind of look at Magma. I have a feeling that Magma is going to be a good solution to the uh, Hisuian Billigant. Uh, also good into Golurk. Also good into the Decidueye, if it does actually have contact moves. Uh, is good into the Overquill, but uh, obviously at a type to the advantage, uh, and the Chinchino. <coughs> is the Shiny any good? Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to be running a build that is pretty common on, uh, on the ladder at the moment, um, except with Heatwave. We're going to go the Eviolite stat spread um, with more physical defense. I don't have a physical attack, so I can do that. That's fine. Uh, and then this is my Magma. Um, and Magma is going to help me deal with some of the physical people. Um, but then I need someone to help me deal with this special, which is going to be... Hisuian Gudra. So this is what I brought last, so for week one, uh, Hisuian Gudra, maximum special defense, minimum speed. Oops. Um, which is, with the Assault Vest, it's 333 special defense, um, which is a ton. <coughs> Um, but I think I'm wanting physical tech moves uh, in the Dragon Tail, the Breaking Swipe. Uh, uh, um, uh, Dragon Tail is really good for getting things out that have set up. Uh, and my plan is to have spikes or something down to capitalize on that. Overquill is a poison type, so I can't do toxic spikes. I'm pretty confident Overquill will be brought. Um, but I could do something like Stealth Rock. I feel like Stealth Rock could do a bit of work here. So I need to see if which one of my Pokemon has the Stealth Rock. I'm going to take Knock Off because that's super effective into a lot of the Pokemon there. Um, and Earthquake, maybe? Bulldoze? Could be good. That's... Um, uh, Mm. Mm. Well, I can get Skitter Smack. Skitter Smack is going to give me a guaranteed special attack drop. Uh, and so Skitter Smack into the Arcaludon could be relevant. It's super effective into the Meow Stick. Um, I think it's super effective into the Lilligan. It's more grass fighting. That could be good, maybe. I think the other three moves are going to be way more relevant. Um, do I want to 
second turn? I don't think so. Do I want Granbull? I think I have Magmar doing a better job. I think my next four Pokemon are going to be just for sweeping. Um, so let's bring in our Ace. Bring in our Ace. So this is Greninja. It's going to be Protean. Protean, very good. Uh, I'm going to be playing Spikes. Just regular Spikes. Because regular Spikes changes his typing to ground type. Covering for the water weakness. And becomes immune to Archiludon's gigantic um, lightning attack. Which can be helpful. I didn't see anything else that becomes too scary um, because of that. So that could be good. Um, I still want to be playing Pledge. I think the Pledge has been very good. Um, is Grass not going to be relevant for something? I don't think so. I think I want something like Blizzard uh, and then something like uh, Water Shuriken. I have the Pledge. I could go Weather Ball. Hmm. I think dark. Uh, dark type move. Dark pulse is maybe the way to go. Uh, and then the item is going to be sash. Terra type. Ground probably. Terra type normal. Do I have to make everything terra type normal? Um, no, like I got good draw. Is steel the correct choice? Maybe. I think steel is fine. I think steel is fine. Um, or water type, perhaps. But with the, I guess I wouldn't Terra Water with the Arcalude on. Um, um, um. Which means now that Greninja is done, we should bring in. What's the chance of us seeing a sunny day? Low. If anything, Terraswama wants rain, so I think Overgrow is going to be better. Um, we're going to go Life Orb. We're going to go Grass Pledge. Uh, and then some special coverage. So Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, much better with the Overgrow. Uh, and then Earth Power. What do I really want with Giga Drain? Might be relevant. Archaludon resists it. Skeletage resists grass. Um, Poltygeist resists grass. No, it's just Mono Ghost. I'm thinking of Marcha. Poltergeist. Um, so I think only two things resisting it. Um. It's maybe fine, but I think I also want maybe Terra Blast Dark is just going to be more effective. This is a setup I had for the last one, but we're just changing the ability basically. And we're going fast special. Um, is fast special correct? Let's go. Let's go bulky. Let's go bulky special. Um, uh, this is fine. Um, and Instead of the Terra Blast, actually, is Sludge Bomb super effective against anything? Um, no. Wait, it's regular Decidueye, not Hisuian Decidueye. Um, but still not that many things. I think I cut Sludge Bomb for the Giga Drain. And that might make it a bit... <coughs> 
a bit better. Mm. I think then I'm I have Talon Flame, I have Empoleon, I have Slacking to choose from for slot number five. I think slacking might be good just naturally because it is normal typing. Um, so it's going to make you aggressive. Um, earthquake, drain punch, rock slide, rock slide, and then something funky. Sucker Punch? I guess. Yeah, I mean, Banded Sucker Punch probably does infinite damage here. Play the Adamant. Give me a little bit of speed just in case. Um, Terra Type Ghost. Terra Type Steel. Terra Type Poison? It's like flying. Let's go to the flying. I think it, uh, with the electric type move out of the Arcaludon. Uh, I think poison is better in that case. Um, because Meowstic is really the only psychic stab thing. I think Meowstic is a forward and a sweeper, so I, I don't. I also am not confident if we're going to actually see him or not. What do you think about some shinies? I'm going to, I'm going to bring back Shadow Lord. We did a lot of work in round one. And snails. Um, and Venus subscribe. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. Um, and then just like some funny stuff for stream. And then do I want Empoleon? Or do I want Talon Flame? If I take Empoleon, I'm kind of overlapping with the Greninja. So maybe Talon Flame. Talon Flame, fully offensive with the Gale Wings. Can't be banded because this is banded. Can't be life orb because this is life orb. Mm. Do I take a berry, like charty berry? How likely am I to see rocks? I think low. Like, do I take some meme stuff like bright powder? Hope for the best. Because otherwise, like, Charty Berry is not bad. I can take clear amulet. I can take clear amulet to pretend to prevent the intimidate. Maybe that's the way to go. And it also prevents the um, icy wind, which we saw a lot in round one. Uh, let me just go brave for D. Um, flare blitz. I think the flare is pretty good. I don't like the U turn here. And I can take upper hand, but it's like, what? What moves are we going to like really be saying that I need to upper hand on? I guess it hits Prankstar, right? Because it, it like fails on this target using priority. So if Meowstic is Prankstering, I should be able to upper hand it. I think. 
I don't know, to be certain. Uh, I'm also not taking Tailwind. I probably could be. Maybe that slot should be Tailwind instead. Um, uh, yeah, let's swap the U-turn for the Tailwind. Maybe that's the way to go. Well, this is what the team looks like. Pretty stock magma. Isui and Gudra on a fully defensive stall type thing. Greninja, who's trying to place the spikes after a big grassy pledge. Um, Venusaur, who's probably most likely to be terrored for the dark type terror blast following the grass pledge. Slacking his job is to come in and get a KO and then switch out and talon flames. So we've got the poison on here. I think this just needs to be something that resists rocks. So maybe steel fighting could actually be good here. Yeah, okay, I I I'm on board. Could be good here. And I guess this is my team. This is what I'm going to be bringing into week two. God forbid I don't change things at the last minute again like I did last time. Or I panicked and remade, remade everything because uh, Whimsicott can't use Worry Seed on Slacking's Truant, a thing that they've changed recently since I have last looked at them. But I, I'm pretty happy with this. I guess we'll see how, how we go. Um, the advantage of knowing my opponent's team is heavily filled with ghost types does help me um, pick out some things but this is my team that's what i'm going to be bringing so i'm hoping for the best and if you've been enjoying watching the cutlass draft league make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out the playlist that this is in because the playlist has not just videos from me but has videos from all the content creators that are in the league making stuff like team breakdowns and you get to see each of the week's matches everything all in one place so go and check that out uh, and if if you're enjoying all of that, then hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you on my match on Saturday.